Now to focus on perpendiculars. So perpendicular lines in a plane are lines that intersect at a right angle. And if it is a right angle, what kind of degree measure are we talking about? Right angles are always 90 degrees. We can draw a little box in there. So I thought my kitties were very appropriate. The relationship between the two kitties, they're perpendicular. <laughs> Funny jokes. Because we have a little 90 degree angle in between there. So hopefully that'll help you remember. But we can look at a numerical example. Move away from the kitties. The relationship between the pink and the green line. You have the same drawn for you. Again, what kind of angle measure do we have? Um, at the intersection point, we can draw a little box, which tells me it's 90 degrees. So the slopes of the lines are what? They're both in that y equals mx plus b form. So the slope of the green one is minus 1 half. Slope of the pink one is 2. Okay. So, what do you notice? Note that if I multiply these two together, what do I get out? Okay, so 2 times 1, I get the minus 2 over 2, which is what? Negative 1. So the product of the two slopes is negative 1. Product of the slopes is negative 1. That's very important. We're going to use that. Because what is the relationship between these two slopes? Okay, so the negative automatically makes them what? What term do we call it? When I have one that's positive, one that's negative, call them opposites. And what other relationship do we have? Just between the constants, 2 and 1 half. That relationship to each other, they are what? Reciprocals. So another way to state this is the slopes are opposite reciprocals. Because if I took minus one half, okay, and I negated it, I looked for its opposite, that'll turn me into one half. Then if I look at the reciprocal of the opposite, it gets me to the other slope that I started with. Okay. So that's just another way to prove the relationship that, hey, these two lines are perpendicular. Because either I multiply the slopes together and I get a minus 1, or I can recognize that the slopes are opposite reciprocals, which these just mean the same thing. They're synonymous. Another way to describe it. So on the next page, just to sum up what we're, talk what we're talking about. Perpendicular lines, two non-vertical lines, are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is negative 1, i.e. the slopes are what? Opposite reciprocals. So either one is good proof to tell me, hey, these things are perpendicular. If one equation in a pair of per perpendicular lines is vertical, then what's the relationship with the other one? If I have a vertical and I'm looking for a, a perpendicular line, I need one to be horizontal. So we have x equals some constant, that line, and then y equals some constant, that line. We're looking at perpendiculars. So you want to look at a few examples. Determine whether the graphs of the lines 3y equals 9x plus 3 and 6y plus 2x equals 6, if they are perpendicular. Okay, so we're going to graph them eventually, but as we're solving for the slope-intercept form, it's going to tell us based on the slopes. Do we have opposite reciprocals? So let's just solve for the slope-intercept form. Over here, I need to divide by 3. So y is 3x plus 1. So the first slope, I'm just going to call it line 1. A little subscript just tells me I'm starting with the first one. Its slope was 3. 
and let's solve for the slope intercept form over here so we can look at and compare the two slopes. So we need to move 2x first, minus 2x plus 6, divide by 6 everywhere, y is minus what? We can simplify that down, 1 third x plus 1. So slope of the second line, m2, is minus 1 third. Okay, so before we draw a picture, what is the relationship between the two? Here's my first slope, here's my second. What about those two lines? Are they perpendicular? Yes, because I could multiply them together. If I say m1 times m2, what do I get out? Minus 1. Or we could talk about um, m1 is the opposite reciprocal of m2. So we know these lines are going to be perpendicular. Perpendicular. But let's use graph to get some more practice with graphing and to see the relationship kind of unfold. So the first line, I'm going to make him green and he has a y-intercept of 0, 1. From there, I want to move according to the slope up 1, 2, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3 over 1, or down, 1, 2, 3, back 1. We'll also fall on that line, if your picture is accurate. So this is the first. And the second one, I'm going to make that one pink. And I'm going to take it from this form. It is going through the point, 0, 1, same. But moving according to this slope, down 1 over 1, 2, 3, down 1 over 1, 2, 3, or we could have gone up 1, back 1, 2, 3. I've got Cosmo and Wanda colors. Throw back to childhood. We want to label this guy, give him a name, and again, your straight edges will help if you, if you have one, whip out your driver's license. The relationship between these two. Parallel, I have a little 90 degree angle at that intersection. Alright, so turn in the page, last thing we want to do. Two for you, we're not going to uh, graph them, but determine whether the graphs of each pair of equations are perpendicular or not. So the first one didn't require much work since we already had the slope-intercept form given to us. So we can pluck off the slope of the first line was minus 3 fourths. Slope of the second was positive 4 thirds. So, what did you get? How are these lines related? We have the opposite reciprocals, or if we multiply them together, what did you get out? Minus 3 fourths times 4 thirds gives us negative 1. So these lines were perpendicular. So you could use that argument. When I multiply the slopes together, I get minus 1. Or you can talk about the fact that the slopes are opposite reciprocals for your justification as to why those lines are perpendicular. The second case, we have to do a little bit more work. Because they're not isolated, um, y is not isolated. So we need to solve for the point-slope form first. So over here, we need to subtract 4x from both sides, divide by negative 5, y was 4 fifths x minus 8 fifths. And the same story over here. Keeping y where it is, move an x to minus 12, divide by 9. So what am I looking at? Simplified, I'm looking at minus 2 thirds x minus what? So 12 over 9, 19, 12 over 9 can take 3 out of both of them, so what are we looking at there? 4 thirds. We want to have it in the most simplified form. And now that we have slope-intercept form, looking at the two slopes, are they perpendicular or not? Okay, so they're not opposite reciprocals. Or if I multiply them together, I'm not going to get out negative 1. So I'm just going to say, this is my justification. 
slope of the first times slope of the second does not equal minus 1. Therefore, they're not perpendicular. All right. So now that we have those three relationships, we're going to look at systems a lot. Without graphing, we need to be able to tell. What are they going to look like if I did graph them?